Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Go Gwinnett, I'm Deborah Tuck. The Gwinnett Stripers, a AAA affiliate world championship team with a new GM who has new ideas in a growing county that just happens to be the most diverse county in the state of Georgia. Talking about Gwinnett, of course. So with new food and happening events, she says they have to put the cool in Cool Ray Phil. Here's how. Did this ever since high school, up and through college a little bit. A former baseball player and avid eater, Chef Jamarius Sims says he's also an avid cook. I stayed in the kitchen. I was always ready to help out. To, if it got the food on the table faster, I was always willing to chip in. And ready to chip in at Cool Ray Field as the executive chef. So we wanted to bring that homey vibe, that Georgia flair to the uh, ballpark. New general manager and VP Erin McCormick says she has a lot on her plate, literally. After surveying fans, they wanted food. Food is a huge improvement for us this year. And lots of it. A new food concession stand in general called All the Fixins, which is heavily leaning into the southern barbecue southeastern experience. Whether it's the Texas style brisket with the salt and pepper rub I put on it, or it might be the Memphis style sweet barbecue sauce I might use to drizzle over the top of the brisket, or it might be the Memphis style peach based barbecue sauce. Then there's Cocktail Cove. Adult slushies, bourbon lemonade, rum and coke. And promotional nights honoring different heritages. We have a Hispanic heritage program that runs every Wednesday. There's things from German background with a Frankenstein night to um, AAPI, uh, Pride. Gwinnett is incredibly diverse. It's one of the main reasons I love living here. Um, not only for the food, but just the diversity in people and cultures and experiences. With a list of experiences like the food you won't want to miss. Big turkey legs or the homegrown Vidalia onions, onion rings, um, the pimento grilled cheese, you know. I just want you to see the level of care we put into the food that we try to provide that almost that in-house flavor that everything is made from scratch. If it's not from scratch, it's probably just ketchup. Very cool, very cool. All right, so here's a bit of random knowledge. Chef Jay says on any given night, he and his crew can feed about 2,500 to 3,000 people, and that number typically fluctuates on the higher end. So my question to you, would you be able to feed that many people on any given anything? Some of you probably answered yeah, because you just are talented like that. But for the rest of us, the answer is probably no. We'll let the pros handle that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Go Gwinnett from Buford. I'm Deborah Tuff. See you next time.